No. Cordelia? Oh, she had a headache, but she's okay. What the fuck was that? We had the thing where Cordelia could see the future while she's seeing the past. She was controlling it. She was talking to me. Oh, yes, that's right. Of course. You should probably introduce the sticks. I need to call Rose. Welcome back to Let's Play Cognition. This is episode three, part two. I'm Tigum, and with me as always is Cosgit. Hello! Rose has been a huge help. I'm glad I was wrong about her. I like how this is the only place with any garden on their patio thing. That is a good point. I hadn't noticed that before. There's nothing on any of the other balconies. Hello? Rose. Couldn't even Eric be bothered copy pasting. Something really weird just happened <laughs> to me. Erica, my dear, just calm down and tell me all about it. I had a vision, but I was stuck in it. I, I couldn't get out. It was focused on a woman, Cordelia. But Rose, she saw me. She knew I was there, that I could hear her. She talked to me. Cordelia. Oh dear, how could I not remember her name? <laughs> Where are you, Erica? Are you at the Infant House? Oh, that other psychic I know. Yeah, yeah I don't know why. Erica, I didn't think of her before. Important. There must be a lot of them. No, he's not. He snuck over here alone, and now I'm trying to find him. Well, I mean, if there are, how come they aren't showing up? You like, or no one knows about them. Well, maybe they all have a magnet in them, implanted in their body, and they sort of just attract to each other. <laughs> or possibly repel, so you can't have too many of them too close together. Yeah. Documented. Who are these documented by? Rose, this is not good. That's a good uh, question. Apparently not the authorities. Well, I guess exactly people on the internet, probably. Why are yeah, you so uh, we'll sure John them. is in danger? According to some that websites I've read. <laughs> what is important is that he can still be helped. Find Jean quickly. And don't forget, you are extremely resourceful and <laughs> strong. No, you're not. A deeper vision can be troubling so, she's not at all. Rose's magic power is lying yourself, very successfully. She convinces Erica, I but leave here until John she is hasn't convinced you. either of us. Thank you, Rose. Take good care of Erica yourself, is a bit of an idiot. Hmm. I don't think it's that difficult to fool Erica, so, you know, I wouldn't call it a superpower. Yeah. I'm not sure how I feel about this artistic angle. It just looks like the building is sort of about to fall over. Yeah, and I think they have literally done it just because, hey, it looks artistic. And that's God, the extent of the thought else. behind it. He was a psycho, but still, I wouldn't wish this on anyone. Really? What about Hitler? No. I've handled enough severed bodies. I mean, you might wish him life. dead, but you probably wouldn't wish him, like, have his ear cut off and Another his eyes gouged out things. and then thrown off a building. And that's just, that's a little to, extreme. I don't think some old spinster on floor 10 accidentally left it here. Oh, I'll put it with the one I already Maybe she had. did. I leave stuff all over the house. And other people's houses. Because it's fun. And this is, I think, a public area? Like, oh, I thought this was someone's house. I think it's like the, the balcony is off the corridor. No, balconies off the house. Is it? I reckon. It's a bit hard to say. Oh, we've got a penthouse key now, so we'll go there. Oh yeah, that sounds like a great idea. Wait, what? Okay, Erica. Odd scene Time transition. to slow it yep. down for a second. Whose place is this? She just broke it's into someone's house without movie. knowing who it is. Someone who doesn't have anything left out in the middle the of their I house. Love glass tables. You can always rely on them to have at least one usable fingerprint. And I know this is an expensive penthouse, but look at the size of it! Uh, and I don't most know. of it's empty, too. Yeah, well, that, that's my problem, is it's empty, there's no... I, you've been in my house, there's mail on the table, there's... If you know, you've got that space, you're going to use it for something. Yeah. No. I guess nothing happened here that involved those things. What? Well, that was useful. <laughs> yes, there's something in the bin. We could magic the Someone's bin. Someone's coming. This was so stupid. 
Yes. A murderer led me. <laughs> well, at least she's started to realize it. Oh. Nope. <laughs> Hello again, Ms. Reed. Please, stand up. Agent Reed. Where's Cordelia? I see. Well, you've come to the right place. I'm here to inform you that Ms. Smith wants you to make yourself at home here. But of course, you wouldn't have gotten in here if she didn't want it. Wait, who okay. are you? You're not just a property manager. How are you involved with Cordelia? He's a magician. I am the Smith family lawyer. My name is Scorobius. And Cordelia? Do you know where she yeah, is? That seems no, but she made mention of a John, I believe, before she left. Yes, definitely John. She said that you'd likely be wanting this. And also that, as I've stated, you have free access to her home, nothing withheld. So this place is Cordelia's? All 33 Shh. floors. Yeah, very Wait. quick on the uptake, Eric. Damn it. Yeah. What did he drop off? He said it was from Cordelia. Another ear. <laughs> Tell you in person, but you... So that's, that is a letter to Cordelia from someone. Yeah, someone who writes like a 15 year Why would Cordelia have him leave this? Ugh. What is she doing to me? What am I supposed to think? You're supposed to think that you can do something for me. Maybe you need to talk to someone. And watching the paths get ripped apart is no help. Double your bet. Okay. This feels the same as that vision on the balcony, but... Okay, I've got a little more control now. I can leave the vision if I want to. It's the Boston office. <laughs> this memory is that. years old, before I was an agent. But Did it's you not recognize this place? A lady at the front desk work. pointed me back here to Agent John McCoy. Oh, I'm getting that feeling again. Like someone's watching me out of the corner of their eye. Okay. So I guess this is the first time John, Cordelia ever since Erica watching her. Met her? Sounds uh, racist. No. <laughs> We're just sitting here. Oh, I see. <laughs> Gotta wait for the tutorial tips to go away. Hope de derp de derp. Now we're playing as Cordelia in the past. There's a big stack of folders here, each named with different... Hey, wait! Max's name is on this one! Well, that was lucky. It has Max's name and some kind of number. That was a case number. Oh. I just saw it. <laughs> I guess it's an ID number of some description. <laughs> I wish I could look in that folder, but I'm not about to pick up a confidential file in the middle of the FBI station. That would not go over well. Yeah, that was a case considering it's on someone's I just saw it. desk, and that person is at their desk. Whoa! Doing that almost brought on the vision again. I shouldn't do that in here without a very specific reason. I don't want to cause a scene. And so, yeah, we can also use psychic powers as Cordelia. Ah. But not right now. <laughs> Got an achievement. You clicked a button. Hooray! I bet he's one of those types who's really messy but still solves every case. Is that a type? No. <laughs> I'm looking for John McCoy. Is that you? The one and only. What's this about? I was led to believe maybe you could help me. Damn it. I don't know what she was trying to get help for. It must have been something pretty serious. I don't know, maybe her brother's murder? Yes. I won't get a clear vision of what they talked about until I know why she was approaching John. What? But there is one fragment Sorry. here I think I can feel out. It's about... Rose? Well, 
Rose knows Cordelia all right, all right, all right. and sorry. John, so this whole week has been lousy. And watching the paths get ripped apart. Yeah, but it seems no to be more like she needs to but know about it before she think? can know You're about it. You're supposed to think that you can do something for me. Maybe you need to talk to someone. Here, there's this woman, Rose. She runs an antique shop, and she's gifted. She knows about visions and things. She's been giving me some guidance. Give her a call. There's a desk down the end. You can sit John on the call. To talk to Rose. <laughs> Everyone, he's just that nice kind of guy. <laughs> Like, one of his co-workers is like, have you seen my stapler? And he's like, <laughs> I know this woman Rose. She's good with this kind of thing. Yeah, she can find things. <laughs> Hunting for the hotspot. Okay, so this is your hint system, basically, now. Uh-huh. For your Cordelia sections. So, I guess Agent McCoy gets advice from his psychic when he's stuck on a case then? When I go out, I carry my phone. But that's really the only time. You don't just carry it around while you're at home. Fair enough, that's pretty normal. Yeah, that's fairly normal. It's... You could argue it's still with you if you're in the house with the phone. <laughs> pretty much. Hello, oh. Lament Antiques. This is Rose. Oh wow, she's got really I... weird eyes. Yes, hi. My name <laughs> well, is Cordelia. Not like any of the other characters. John McCoy game. referred me to you. Yeah, but particularly. He said that you could help me. That's creepy. I've had this, well, this vision of my brother. He gets killed in it, and and it's awful. Okay, I so I guess this is before her brother died. And apparently, well, I can infer from her, the way she speaks, happen. there are way people can but be killed, and it's not all. <laughs> Any time I think certain thoughts that relate to a vision. Yes, association is one of the main causes. But how do I unassociate? Sometimes I feel like I can't come out of it. I can't stop having a vision. Right now, the only thing that works is repeating I am awake to myself over and over in my head. After I start doing that, my mouth starts to say it. And then I remember I'm me again. Well... We will see if Mama Rose can help you. We will try oh, something. Return into a psychopath. Close your eyes. Yeah. She, now. This doesn't seem like it's relax. going to end well. Let your forehead rest. Relax your eyes. Just your forehead. Your jaw. <laughs> no other part of your head. Search around <laughs> for a feeling inside yourself. I don't even it's know how to let light. my forehead rest. It's not particularly you active. See troubling things, but you can also see helpful things. For now, search for the little light, and I want you to try to make that light bigger and brighter. Bigger and brighter. The light is moving. Careful, but it might be an oncoming train. Hard to focus. <laughs> I. Oh. Hello, hello, hello. Are you there, my dear? You screamed. Yes. I'm. I'm here. I. You're still in the FBI office. Go. Why? Yeah, I guess that I'll, was a vision I'll of the future. I'll see you soon. My dear, before the past you the future, up, because remember, all of this is the past, which is quite confusing. I, I thought. I sort of hoped yes, that maybe they jumped forward. And we didn't have all this faffing around. And yeah, no, not Take in this heart. game. There is always hope. Goodbye, my dear. But why is she calling from the police station? Why not? Right <laughs> <laughs> in front of John. Yep. <laughs> Excuse me, mate. I'm just gonna go make a phone call, and uh, that's the number you just gave me. I need to know why she'd show up to the bureau asking for help. What happened? So I guess we can't continue this vision until we gather some Weird. more clues. The Cordelia I just saw doesn't seem like the same sociopath who's been toying with me lately. Well, she didn't when you met her in the graveyard either, though. Yeah. So now we've got some evidence numbers as well. Excellent. And there doesn't seem to be anything else.
yourself useful you can do with the phone. So. A house plant. Nothing special. Shouldn't you turn on psycho vision? It's a slab of pink veined marble. So what? I'm fine with yeah, my Renault I think and just types. Having a look around the room first at this point. Spotless. This place doesn't Why even does look she know so much in. about. It looks her more bench like tops. it's been prepped for an open house. You got no like some if sort you're of in the FBI. trash can. Probably cost a few hundred. Everything is so clean in here. Like a museum. Eh, I wouldn't call museums clean as such. Full of peasants. <laughs> yep, that's some art. Yep. Landscape art. I prefer paintings with people in them. Oh, luckily. <laughs> Always so critical of everything. Luckily, there's some pictures with people in them. I can't see it clearly from here. The loft is blocking it. Maybe I'll see it better from up there. What? That's... A vase with a crazy design the, on it. The layout of this place is confusing to me. Everything is so clean in here. Like a museum. Then we go upstairs and we find many dead bodies. <laughs> That's far this too interesting room. to be in this game. I can feel it. She has to look in this thing every day. I wonder how she does it. Oh, oh, she doesn't actually have prisoner to. The prisoner is gone. And it's the just a mirror. Here. The prisoner is gone. I wonder if she falls asleep peacefully. The bird, I assume. Oh, we're going to look at every single say. painting. It's not really my thing. There aren't that many of them. Yeah. I don't know whether they're relevant. It's very this hard looks to tell. Promising. Good point. Did you just say that looks interesting? Because that's incorrect. <laughs> I can promising. It, ah. But I don't see a keyhole. Oh, oh well. Give up. <laughs> a few necklaces and bracelets. Can't tell much from it. I prefer handcuffs. Um, I don't think we need to know that about her. Yeah. Have checks and pay the bills. God, I'd kill for a view like this. I love living in Boston. That's an odd thing to say. I wish I could say. appreciate it from this distance more often, not always from alleyway crime scenes. Now that's a spacious closet. Uh, animations. Doesn't look that spacious. No, once you get inside, Let's it's see. quite limited. Books by Jersey Kaczynski, Mickey Spillane, some books on breeding body language, and a book by a guy named Barboose called Hell. Fitting. Is it? I don't know. I'm not taking any of these books with me. You don't have to, you can read them here. There's some kind of journal in here. What's this? Some kind of journal. These are notes on the hangman and the wise monkey. I'll take this. Cool. Thanks for telling us that. Yep. Doesn't seem like we can actually do anything with it. I'm sure it probably doesn't become relevant later. I mean, it's pretty solid evidence that Cordelia is the mysterious killer you've been chasing for a while now, so you could call your colleagues in, but no. Do we now try and open that drawer? Ah, oh, here we go. Let's magic the drawing. I am awake! I was worried. Just be okay. Could you at least get me something? As usual, that's less than helpful. Wait, hey, what? Kiddo. Oh, God. I'm not very good at telling stories anymore. Yeah, this is it's the gimmick of this episode. Do you uh... remember the last time we were here like this? <laughs> I must have been 12. 
I was at your bedside, and I was trying to get you to talk. Dad had me playing one of those business deal games with you. Remember those? God, they were awful. For this one, I had to get you to trade me some toy you loved. And he you know what also to is awful? To me until this. I struck a deal. <laughs> and as I was trying to cut a deal, is she like hovering? I, started to get I think she might have did. And you threw upon my shoes. Mom had to take you off to bed, and you stayed there, sick and sweaty, for like three days. I was there with you, begging so you to wake up, up so I could finish oh, making no. that deal with you. Probably a water bed. But you didn't wake up. And for those three days, Dad wouldn't talk to me, wouldn't respond to me, wouldn't even look at me. Cordelia, I wanted you to wake up so that I could finish the deal and Dad would talk to me again. But now, I want you to wake up so that I'll know you're okay. Please, wake up. After seeing her talk to Rose, I know what she she's does unconscious and can't be working, like shouldn't she be in a hospital? But it's not enough. Yeah. I need to know what got her here. I'd bet that another vision could clue me in. So this is their parents' house or something like that, is that right? I don't know. Should, we assume we have to open up the drawer later. I presume. Yeah, well, I didn't see a way to open it. There. Uh, nice staircase. Oh, fucking. <laughs> yeah, nice staircase. That's a normal thing to say. Interface leaves a little bit to be. I think I had a toy that looked like this when I was little. But Damsel in Distress stories always pissed me off. So I rescued him from the dragon. God, that is so heavy handed. <laughs> oh, yeah. I know I've heard of the thing called saying, subtle. You don't and finish a work of art, you didn't care for it. it. <laughs> but come on, at least finish a face. Once again, elaborate. But this art. is like yeah. 18th century. Who has stuff like this anymore? Anyone who it wants looks like it, it moves, yeah. but it also looks extremely fragile. Okay. Some kind of Batman memorabilia. Yeah, that seems likely. Yeah, I guess. Aside from telling me Cordelia has a lot of money, this sort of stuff isn't telling me much about her. Also, getting that stuff up there would have been very difficult. Yeah, those stairs do not fit much of that stuff. Kinda reminds me of The Shining. Is this an allusion to what happens later? I have no idea. It looks like a person with stomach problems. Not something I'd show off. I can't get anything clear. <sighs> there are several memories here, but I can't get a fix on any single one. They really just want to make things more complicated, don't they? Yeah, it, there's a lot of convoluted puzzles starting out here, I think. Yeah, handgun it. That'll fix it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do just want to shoot everything. <laughs> that weird run. I decided to have a look at this again to see if there was anything there that could tell me what I'm meant to be doing. Three pieces of evidence were mentioned. No. I guess nothing happened here that involved those but things. But of course, it was the other bars. Uh. <laughs> this vase has a big chip in it. So this place isn't perfect. Yeah, right. Yes, that's it. Wait, McAdams and Davies were here? What Apparently. is going on? Well, we already know Cordelia's brother was murdered. So... Davies. Like, that's Didn't why they were I'd there. I see you again. 
you know, not really seeing Davies, you're just seeing your hallucinations of him. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Couldn't work out how to trigger the event. Looks like some sort of designer trash can. Yeah, I'm trying to, trying to work out. Okay, I've made these hallucinations appear, but what do I do with them? <laughs> I'll go in the other room. Yeah, well, may as well just leave Fancy them alone office. for the moment. If you're going to work from home, this is the way to do it. Oh, I don't think it is. Very There's clean. No computer, for example. It doesn't look like it's <laughs> a fire that could be a problem. Time. Maybe she's some sort of hooker or something because huh. that looks. I actually kind of like these. You know. Oh, finally, Erica likes wow, something. This is a fancy little gadget. Is it a telephone? Yes, it's a phone. Or as Erica calls them, a fancy little <laughs> gadget. <laughs> this thing is colored to indicate danger. <laughs> a rush <laughs> delivery. Yeah, probably rush delivery, to Erica, because it's a letter. Words. Yeah, this thing. It's empty. There's something odd about it. Like it was left here deliberately. Well done, genius. <laughs> I need him to sign away his claim. You do your thing, I'll do mine. I've spent the past two days getting nowhere on this one. Keith. That's it! Okay. And we'll see that vision next time. Well, that really makes me want to play this game. Oh yeah, a lot's happened. It's yeah. really moving now. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah I get the feeling, um, yeah, this is... Uh... You can tell we're not paid to review this thing, huh? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling like this episode is going to be like you're going to see a lot of stuff that is not going to make any sense or lead anywhere until you get one key piece that's just going to make everything fall into place all at once. So, like, a very badly paced story. Yes. Lots of setup. It's like someone's read a book about, you know, with a lot of setup and that sort of stuff, and then they've gone, let's do that in computer game format. Yeah. Except. Even in a book, it wouldn't be a good way to do it because you need to have you know things happening throughout the entire story to keep you interested. You can't just yeah. have it all happen at the end. Yeah, you can't just have ooh lots of things and no you know misdirection or anything like that. Really? Yeah. Because it's just like yeah. 